2020 Mercedes AMG GLC 43 Review, Middle Child Magic. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Critics sometimes meet Mercedes AMG products wearing 43 on the back with cynicism, starting when the 2015 Mercedes Benz C450 sedan suddenly turned into the Mercedes AMG C43 a year later, virtually unchanged despite wearing a two digit moniker synonymous with sporty cars from a Falterbach. Skeptics saw it as a marketing grab, but the 2016 C43 and its GLC 43 sibling were really Goldilocks cars a just-right mix of performance and comfort. The refreshed 2020 Mercedes-AMG GLC 43 is a bit faster still, thanks to a suite of updates that apply to the 2021 Model 2. Its twin-turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 now makes 385 horsepower, up from 362 ponies before, with 384 pound-feet. In addition to tuning the engine, AMG had its way with the carryover 9-speed automatic and 4 modich all-wheel drive, the GLC 43 defaulting to a torque split of 31% to the front axle and 69% to the rear, nice. Last year also brought slightly more aggressive styling, with narrowed headlamps, AMG-specific Panamericana grille, sophisticated LED taillight design, and reshaped rear bumper. It's all very exciting to look at, but does the GLC uphold the luxury promises made by that huge grill badge? And what of AMG's reputation for exciting performance when the pace quickens? That's what we're here to find out. AMG has done an excellent job of dressing up the somewhat anonymous GLC, starting with its fantastic, stracked grill. Taking direct inspiration from the Mercedes-Benz 300SL that took the win at the 1952 Carrera Panamericana, the trapezoidal grille shape now adorns all AMG models, helping the sporty family distinguish itself from other Benz products. Bookended by squinting new headlights, the grille gives the GLC 43 a snorting, angry sneer. However, Mercedes' recent obsession with obviously fake grilles on the bumper corners is on full display here, detracting from both the GLC's innocuous appeal and AMG's heritage-inspired alterations. Things are more cohesive from the rear where each taillight hides a pair of squared-off LED elements. The new rear bumper houses four round exhaust tips and an aggressive diffuser underneath an understated arc of chrome trim. Actual sheet metal is unchanged from stem to stern, but the refined and reshaped details make the GLC 43 a handsome and interesting thing to behold. Inside, the AMG Sport Ute looks much the same as it did for 2019, with a sweeping dashboard design that feels intimate and coupe-like. A quintet of rounded HVAC outlets show up, three in the center and one on each side of the dash. Our tester wore exuberant cranberry red and black leather, with carbon fiber trim on the center stack and aluminum finishes on the dash and door panels. We wish the seats were all red instead of two-tone, but otherwise, the interior glitz is welcome in a performance Mercedes. Materials are okay, but the hard plastic center console is a letdown. Padded knee bolsters and armrests keep it from being a total loss. The Mercedes-AMG GLC 43 is the middle child in the company's small SUV lineup, and like any other middle child, it somehow must be both attention-grabbing and genteel if it wants to earn any love, Jan Brady to the GLC 63's Marsha and the GLC 300's Cindy. Luckily, the GLC 43 does it without a chip on its shoulder, accomplishing its dual roles with nearly equal aplomb. The front seats are supportive and cushy, with four-way lumbar adjustment and a power tilt telescope wheel making it easy to find that sweet spot.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.